フロントウィング。グリザイアの果実。Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. Oh, all right, so we're going to continue on with, oh, well, obviously, Bruta Grisaia. So why not? <laughs> That's what I got planned for the rest of the week. Well, the next two days. Y'all know my schedule already for this week. <laughs> Uh, 
So after some minor difficulties yesterday, we got da for sure got ourselves onto Sachi's route. Which is all good. We're going to find out more about our wonderful maid class rep person. <laughs> Uh, things of note from the last stream of what we went through so far. Since uh, Sachi has been at uh, the school, she has never turned down a request given to her. Not once. Which is uh, mildly shocking. And we already know she takes things very literally. Because after a comment from... Makina, she was trying to count to 10,000 while sitting in a hot bath. She was already kind of, you know, passed out in the water, counting. She was already up to about 2,400, which isn't good. She was in there for at least 70 minutes or so. Not good. As much as hot water... And stuff is feels great. If you're in it too long, uh, yeah, you can pass out. Your body will just get too relaxed. Yeah, that's a thing. So we took her to uh, Amane's room because we figured she would be the most help compared to anybody else, and she was. And then we just—I think we just left her there for the night. So we're going to be continuing on from uh, that point. This should be the next day. I also have my uh, schedule up on Twitter for next week. At the end of the stream, I'll go through it. It'll be kind of a twofer, because it'll, be it'll once again be a day where I can stream uh, five days. The consequence of that being, a lot of those days I'm working night shifts. With the same start and end times as today and tomorrow. I'm going to be very tired. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. So I think I just have to suck it up and just get these streams done in, in general. Just like, whatever. I'm going to be tired anyway. I can uh, sleep after stream on the days off I actually have. <laughs> I'll be fine. I won't push myself, though. I, sh I should be okay. I generally stay up very late anyhow. We'll see what happens. Whew. I say that and immediately start yawning. <laughs> uh, I'm forgetting to give this reminder for a while, but uh, down below we do have a spicy ramen challenge uh, bit goal. 5,000 bits, and I will, the very next stream I have, regardless of what I already have planned, I will eat spicy ramen on stream for you guys, just so you can watch me suffer. Apparently the stuff I picked out is pretty damn hot. For whatever reason, it does not count bits from sound alerts. Don't know why, probably something on my end I gotta flip on for it to actually work, so... I already had to do that once, to add uh, some that was used. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll be able to see what was, what all gets used and whatnot. All that fun jazz. Oh my god, can't stop yawning. Alright. So, we're gonna load up our file, continue on through Sashi's route, and hopefully it does not make me cry. Still not over you, Michiru Roach.
It's pretty common to hear something or other described as a microcosm of society. In particular, school is a highly popular choice. It's practically a cliché that you can judge the health of a country by the condition of its classrooms. Declining academic performance, drug use, all the way up to violent juvenile crime. You can interpret pretty much any schoolyard problem as a reflection of societal decay, if you want to. But even as someone who tends to look on such arguments with skepticism, it's clear to me that the malign influence of our national slide into, dep into depravity has begun to rear its ugly head in this isolated academy of ours. That was a lot of words. <laughs> Pissy. Makina took full blame for what happened, with Sachi counting in the bathroom and passing out, and said he can spank me tomorrow. I think that's what's happening right now. Sora, Hey, Sachi's in some pretty kinky shit. thing in the morning, a completely random spanking show was unfolding before my eyes. One can only grieve for the future of our nation. Curious to see how the others are reacting to this shameful display, I look around the classroom to find... Yeah, no, she was all tender love. Pretty vanilla. <laughs> A grimacing observer, her face all but saying, Gah. I thought those two were getting into some weird territory lately, but this is taking things to a whole new level of awkward. Harder? Oh my god. Hey, Nick, how's it going? <laughs> Clearly... Nothing phases Amane in that kind of, uh, context. A casual observer, humming to herself as she prepares for class, who glances over briefly with an expression that reads, Ah, so that's today's game. <laughs> and finally, an observer who feigns total disinterest, even as she peeps past the book in front of her to take in every moment of the show. An intriguing, colorful range of variations of Yumiko's voyeur. <laughs> She's a shy voyeur. <laughs> so, well, we got Michiru, who's vanilla as shit. Amane, who is D-Gen Central. And then we have the... Shy voyeur in, in Yumiko? And then we know we got the Southern Dom uh, with uh, Makina and Sachi. And what does that make us? Perhaps one could interpret this as necessary stimulation to a stagnant group dynamic? The good kind of school? <laughs> well... What do I gotta stop them? Huh. 
pushed forward by Michiru, a reluctantly, a reluctantly initiate in an intervention with a pair of girls on the teacher's platform. Oh my god, they're literally just doing it right up in front of everyone. Oh fucking Christ. Sachi, mind explaining this? Hi. Yes, I can see that. I'm asking why you felt the need to do so. Makina asked for this. Ah. Right, when Sachi came to her senses in Amane's room. My God. <laughs> And Sachi's not really capable of recognizing that as a joke. I had an ominous premonition the moment I heard that sentence, but... I really did go through with it. In public, even. Maybe it felt that way to Sachi, but somehow I doubt Makina was taking it quite that seriously. A plot? Well, yeah, that's how roleplay works. You gotta have a plot. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so Yumiko, you uh, got something you want to tell us? Pipe down, peanut gallery. If you're interested, I interested, look it up on the internet in your own time. <laughs> a denial this unconvincing is a rare thing in its own right. Oh yeah, you know, Sachi just passed out, so I had to carry her to a room naked. And then, uh, she said she'd smack Makina the next day. That about sums it up. It'd take a while to explain it in full, but I'm sure a wise young woman like yourself would already have a rough idea of what occurred. Right? <笑>あ、使いやす。さすが <laughs> You don't get it. まあ、嘘は言ってないのよね。そうかしら。ふふ、ふふ、意識しなくても滲み出る知性。さすが私。Oh my god. Okay, Mitchell is great, okay? <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Well, to get back to the point, 
I can't say I approve of putting on an early morning spanking show in the classroom. Your choice of lighting isn't the problem here. Actually, depending on the scenario... <laughs> Understood. Makina actually wants the spanking. Christ. Is Amane drags Makina away by the scruff of her neck, Sachi heads obediently back to her seat, a satisfied expression on her face. Hmm. Makin is clearly responsible for turning her spanking into some kind of public humiliation show, but I'm pretty sure Sachi was the one who brought up the topic in the first place. Dutifully remembering a favor that otherwise might might well have been forgotten, she proactively carried it out with genuine enthusiasm. On an abstract level, Sachi sounds like a model class representative. But when you consider the specific details, it's hard to shake the feeling that something stranger is lurking behind her behavior. It might be worth seeing what the higher-ups have to say about this. So, Chizuru. After polishing off my simple lunch of homemade rice balls, I head to the principal's office. Having a productive day? Did your wagashi cakes compliment the tea? Since she answered my valiant attempt at small talk with a smile, Chizu seems to be reasonably receptive to my sudden visit. Oh, he, don't worry, he can do two things. He can do two things at once. <laughs> right. I got a question for you as the principal of this academy, Chizuru. I want to ask you something about our class representative. Komine Sachi, that is. Why? What's that supposed to mean? Alright then. We had a bit of an incident yesterday. Sachi stayed in a hot bath long enough that she actually fainted. And that was instigated by nothing more than an offhand comment from Makina about counting to 10,000 in the bath. So... You don't seem particularly surprised. Is this sort of behavior a recent development, or have you seen something of the sort before? So, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Come to think of it, I remember someone telling me about that one. Nothing serious came of that? <laughs> Oh, 
すぐに校舎の中に戻ってくれたわよ。Good Christ. I see. Despite all the strange ideas she gets in her head, it does seem that Sashi consistently listens to reason. There's a silver lining, to be, to be sure. I mean, that's a silver lining, to be sure. So, I think I'm going to tell you about it. What do you think about it? At the moment, I don't intend to do anything in particular. If anything, I suppose my short term objective was just to confirm how much the principal of this school really knows about her pupils. I don't? I don't? don't? I don't? I don't? True enough. Somehow or other, the woman I'm speaking with has been entrusted with control of Mihama Academy as an organization. I suppose it's only natural she'd be thoroughly familiar with the quirks of a handful of students under her supervision. Alright, we gonna get sass? Or we gonna get some sass from him? Second. Sorry, just had to file something away real quick. All right, we gonna get are we gonna get some sass from Yuji? I I got a feeling we're gonna get some sass. Never mind. <laughs> 
Yeah. I have once again realized that you're a fine woman. Hey, Jen, how's it going? It's going pretty good on my end. Other than still being a little tired and not looking forward to working tonight. Or for the next five days. Ah, I got nothing but night, night shift till Tuesday. <laughs> Yep, weekend will definitely be crazy. 100%. But, hey, it'll be good money. That's how I just gotta look at it. The money will be pretty good. And don't worry, you haven't missed much so far with this today. Other than uh, a spank show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so I missed the best part then? I, I, I suppose, yeah. They even made it a roleplay. It was just supposed to be for... I think it was just a... Stupid comment they made, it's like, yeah, you can spank me tomorrow for, you know, getting you to pass out. And then they turned it into a full-on game of, we're actually a pair of, uh, we're actually a couple that have been living together for a while, and we're in a rut, so we're trying some soft s and It's like, what the f- <laughs> Why? <laughs> sure. Just sure. And we had three different reactions, uh... Because, of course, they were doing it in the middle of class, in front of everyone. Three different reactions. One was, what the hell are they doing? The other was, oh, so they're doing that today. And the other was, trying not to look, but... Too curious. <laughs> This game is just... Just wow sometimes. <laughs> Smoothly switching her crossed legs, Chizuru offers me a prototypical composed older woman's smile. あなたがコミネさんについて知りたいというなら、私が持っている範囲の情報を開示してもいいわよ。Will she though? I mean, she did offer to do that with Michiru too, but then we were just said no. We'd rather hear it from her first, but at that point we were really friends with her and didn't want to break a this unspoken trust she had in us. So will Yuji take the bait? He will not. No, that won't be necessary. Probably true, but this isn't a job, and I don't have any pressing need to know. And there aren't many people who go asking a teacher for information on a classmate, are there? <laughs> Look, it still feels kind of awkward, but I'm making a conscious effort to talk about these things like a normal student. Try not to laugh. So, <laughs> We still don't have full details of what his job is. Other than he presumably goes to kill people. That's it, and they let him be a normal student for a while because... I don't fucking know.
てもそうやって自分に言い聞かせていくのは悪いことじゃないと思うよ。Hope you're right. In between stretches of peace, I plunge into the extraordinary. In between periods where I devote my attention to my part time job, I return to the ordinary. As the ratio has slowly shifted, I've developed a persistent, nagging discomfort with myself. And there's a part of me that doesn't even want that to change. A part of me that's uneasy about getting too used to this. もう一度言うけれどこの学園の生徒となったあなたに私から望むことはありませんあなたの好きなように思うままに学生生活を満喫してもらえれば満足よ If you actually mean that you got a pretty eccentric taste in entertainment あなたも私くらいの年になればわかると思うけどある程度の地位とお金が手に入ると<笑>新しい息抜きを見つけるのも大変なのに Judging from the steadily increasing quantity of knickknacks in this office I guess I can believe it そ,そこまで増えてはいないと思うわよ Even as she speaks, the principal stealthily palms a few desk toys and drops them into a drawer. This instinctive sneakiness might have something to do with how she clawed her way up the ladder. Alright, I think it's about time I headed back. I've already eaten lunch, if that's what you're worried about. 休み時間に限ったことじゃなくて、本当に自由な時間の話。You know, his free time, he does like one of two things. Like, well, sorry, one of three things. Eat, sleep, or go running. What's that supposed to mean? 私だけじゃなく、息抜きは誰にでも必要ってことよ。No, he must do his 10 km running every day because. Routine. The principal winks suggestively as she speaks. Unfortunately, I don't quite follow. What does the woman want me to do? True enough. In that case, I'll kill some time by trying to guess your age, Chizuru. She actually, and how old will Yuji say she is just to piss her off? <laughs> I retract any previous compliments I may have given you. When I return to the classroom, Sachi's eating her lunch by herself. God, we got so many little tiny noises coming out of all of these girls. Not used to my VNs actually talking to me. <laughs> For once, she's actually spread out a proper lunchbox. A rare sight indeed. From what I've seen, Sachi almost always goes for light, efficient meals. A lunchbox today, huh? I see. For a leftovers lunch, it's a pretty decent spread. At a glance, she's got an omelette with Vienna sausages, mini tomatoes, and broccoli. A colorful and well balanced assortment. It doesn't exactly have the Master housewife impression of an Amane meal, but it's fair to call it a nicely made lunch. 
You did cook at Michiru's request the other day, come to think of it. Are you actually something of a chef? As if to demonstrate, Sachi pulls a cookbook out of her desk and flips it open to a photograph of an omelette. It's strikingly similar to the one in her lunchbox. No need to be modest. Making it look exactly like the book is impressive in its own right. あ、ありがとうございます。それで、学期室にある天音さんが使ったフルートをこっそり吹いてしまった疑惑は晴れましたか? Huh? Ha? Well, huh? When was this a thing? What? 男子学生が Sneaking off to the music room to play a Mane's flute? What is it with you, Sachi? Your thoughts always run off in these unique directions. In the first place, why would I be after a money spit? <laughs> she just goes back to eat. Once the conversation comes to a pause, Sachi smoothly returns to her lunch, carrying food to her mouth with the regular rhythm of a workman on the assembly line. As I'm watching her oddly mechanical behavior, the principal principal's words flit across my mind. Hey, Sachi. Hi, Danilo. First of all, you can chew and swallow what you got in your mouth before trying to talk. With a small nod, Sachi wholeheartedly devotes her attention to mastication for a few moments. Yeah. I was wondering if you have some sort of regular method of letting off steam. You know, managing your stress. Stress trying to say you have no stress. None whatsoever. Despite doing literally anything anyone tells you, no matter how complicated it is? X to doubt. Why not? How? School is stressful enough! But you're also acting as a fucking maid! And you're the class's representative. How do you not have stress? Hmm. It's honestly pretty hard to swallow. But judging from Sachi's expression, I don't think she's outright lying to me. They do say that in America, where they don't really have the concept of stiff shoulders, nobody complains of the symptoms. Maybe this is a similar case? What in the fuck? The hell? Huh? I...
No one complains about stress in America, huh? I call bullshit on that. Because everyone anywhere is gonna complain about how stressed they are. What? <laughs> Maybe an outdated thing? This game isn't even that old. I don't think it is. At least. It initially came out in 2011. And I'm pretty damn sure everyone is still where men don't complain because healthcare is expensive. I mean, I don't think it's talking about healthcare and I don't know. That just confuses me. Oh, it's just kind of baffled, really. But, eh, whatever. Unless that's just the Japanese view on Americans, where they don't complain of having any kind of stress from work? Or anything else? They just carry on? Because if that's the Japanese mindset toward Americans, damn. And we... And, Pretty sure Americans and obviously us here, we look over at Japanese as like, like, damn, these guys just don't stop. It's weird. So we all view each other as just these continual workhorses that don't care and just work needs to be done. We just need to do it. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> So we're all, what are we trying to do? All try to be like each other? Well, at least what we think each other is like? And just continually try to one-up each other in that regard? I mean, for motivation, wow. Health-wise, in the long run, it's terrible. <laughs> anyway... ですから、そういった質問はミチル様にしてみるのがいいと思いますよ。Why Michiru? So, what? Does Michiru have some daily stress relief method? そうだと思います。例えば、この前なんかは。サーチ、サーチ、サーチ。ミチル様、ソファーの陰なんかに隠れて何をやっているんですか？とりあえず声出さずに私の部屋まで連れてきて。Masturbation is clearly the answer. You're not wrong. よし、ひとまず誰にも気づかれなかったわね。<laughs> Always is. Ikinari hippatik chate, arima ne, Sachi. Nande nani mushabera nai, no? Shukyo tekina yatsu? Jo, nani? It is oka. Koiba mo dash de iwa yo. I really dislike Michiru's outfit. How come? I also believe she's wearing, like, shorts, too, with it. Like, what's got you kind of iffy on it? A weird waist thing? Good thing that gets rid of that. Yeah, it is a weird-ass shirt. 
It's only buttoned up underneath the bust. That's it. I, I'm pretty sure it's not a skirt. I think it's shorts. Showing me her school uniform and her third outfit. Alright, let's. This should work. Hopefully. Gallery. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Get her in her other dress. There it is. Okay. Duke. Can use that. Be <laughs> gross. I still have that picture on there. Okay, so. So I found a picture of Michiru in her school and this casual getup. Yeah, it's not a skirt, it's some kind of weird shorts. I also hate work clothes as casual wear in general. <laughs> she has a lot of ribbons, I'll tell you that much. Pumpkin shorts are what the they're called, I think. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's her casual. And then she does have one more outfit she wears that isn't a bathing suit. School uniform is way better. Oh god, this one's gigantic, because it's a literal CG. And that's her other outfit she has for, like, dates. I kind of like this one. <laughs> it is very cute. <laughs> you gotta love that the shark pouch is the one thing that's uh, constant, like a constant between all of her outfits. She always has her shark pouch. <laughs> I don't think you were, yeah, I don't think you were there to see a lot of, uh, Michiru's route to see her in all three of those off outfits.
それで私に何かご用でしょうかああうんその手ごろな大きさのぬいぐるみを持ってたら私に譲ってほしいのよ I've seen very little of this game working all that yeah yeah I, I figured it's okay though work is important <laughs> Work is very, very important. <laughs> eh, to. Shubet no stega nai no de stara. Ikutska wa motte i mas ga. Sasuga sachi! Ja, anda no choice de hitotsu eran de kite chodai! Wakari mashta. Watash de kini wa, kono usagi san no no igurumi ga o susume na no de suga. かわいい感じねそれからサインペンとか持ってないはいこちらにありがとうでこのぬいぐるみの額にこうゆうう、じーって書けば完成 She's gonna punch it now, isn't she? なるほどそれを風見さんだと思って抱きしめ偽りのぬくもりに身を任せるんですね。She's gonna punch it and strangle the damn thing, isn't she? ち、ち違うわよこ、これはそう。サンドバーグなんだから Although <laughs> she actually was gonna do that, but can't do it in front of Sachi. サンドバッグですかそ、そうよこのぬいぐるみを有事に見立てて、いつでも急所を狙えるように練習しておくの<笑>ストレス発散も兼ねてねぬえいうえいうえいそうですかそういうことがありましたあ、ポーラビットスタッフィーユーユーノーノーなぁ、何が起こるのボトルプランドよければお揃いのぬいぐるみをお譲りしましょうか<笑> ?Yes, because that's healthy. <笑> no, that won't be necessary. そうですか。Though it's a little sad to say this myself, dropping a fancy stuffed animal in the middle of that dreary room of mine would be painfully awkward. And the idea of having a matching set of anything with Michiru is somehow even less appealing. Ah! We just finished her route too, so this is just like. Ugh! This is, this is like going from fucking Lily to Emmy route again. Having these. Just totally changed our tune on how we feel about her immediately. Ah,、uh, oh well. I just gotta accept that Michiru is the punching bag in literally every other route but her own. Actually, that's a lie. She was a punching bag in even her own route. Everyone always gave her shit. Anyway, something came to mind while I was listening to all this. If you really don't relax, what do you do with your free time? In other words, you're like a shark. Always moving even when at rest? Yes. 休息するときは普通にベッドで休みますし口で説明するよりは実際に見てもらった方がわかりやすいと思います。Well, probably so. 風見さんさえよろしければ今日にでもお見せできますけど。So what? You telling me to follow you around from morning to night? I'm gonna walk the dog. Now, while、well, I still have good weather, hope you have a good rest of your day. Sorry, I didn't want to pop in for third five. That's alright, Jen. 
Have fun walking, Luna. I appreciate any time you're able to stop by. Well, I do hope you also have a good rest of the day. I hope we'll be able to catch more of Sachi's route, though. She's a fun one. Ah, hopefully. I will be doing hers for a while. Presumably. Tomorrow is going to be the uh, last stream for this week of Grisaia before I move on to other stuff. But then when I come back to the game, we'll, we'll still be doing Sachi's route. Now that you're not at work, it'll be a little easier for you to catch stuff. Unlike before, where you're out the door by the time anyone starts doing things. So, more opportunities will present your themselves. So... <laughs> Hmm. From what I understand, Sachi's proposal isn't problematic in terms of the school rules, but... I'm a little hesitant to peep into her private life out of mere curiosity. Read my mind, huh? Alright, how about after class ends tomorrow? Huh? What are you preparing for exactly? And we'll answer. After school tomorrow, huh? Things have taken a somewhat strange turn. I can't deny I've gotten slightly curious about Sachi's way of life. Should be an interesting experience, if nothing else. A distinctive droning sound, strikingly out of place in this quiet coastal town. Guess I've got a visitor. JB? As expected, when I head out to the school gate, a genuine blonde emerges from the interior of her prancing horse. Hi, Yuji. Yeah, uh, we haven't had, yeah, she had not seen you in a while. <laughs> you had like no interaction in Michiru's route. Not bad as of three minutes ago. Fortunately, my mood now took a nosedive, or just now took a nosedive. If I was really dealing with a woman, maybe I'd be a little more careful with my words. But I was taught to be frank and to the point with my superiors. It's your fault for putting on that ridiculous marble melt airhead act in the first place. <laughs> Which makes the way you pretend to be one downright sadistic. So what's with the sudden visit? Some urgent business come up? <laughs> what? Work not keeping you busy these days? Fine, we'll leave it at that. それで何か困っていることはない設備やお金、それからクラスメイトの女の子には相談できないようなこととか。the hell? What if I tell you I can't control my libido anymore? You gonna take care of that for me? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So, so, Honey said no Simon Niva. Say so, Kara Majimini Kotai Tokumono. I'll see what I can do. So, did they? Seriously, I've got exactly no problems worth mentioning. This place is almost comically well equipped, and my allowance is more than enough for my everyday needs. So, so then I look at the you satisfied now? Ma, I'm not gonna walk out of the room. I'm not gonna be a good night. I'm not gonna be a good night. Yeah, that's right. What's anything else supposed to mean? She's straight up keeping tabs on us. <laughs> Sorry, but what do you care? After all these years, JB probably knows me better than anyone else alive. I don't think she'd ask this question for no reason whatsoever. Alright then, let me ask your opinion on something. What would you think about someone who's never refused anyone's orders, even once? Or turned down a request for that matter? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking submissive play. Uh... No. No, we're not. I'm asking for your thoughts as my superior on this one. So, JB slowly brings her hand to her chin. In the next instant, her eyes grow sharp and serious. It's a familiar sight. I guess you could call it her business face. When JB switches into work mode, she has a habit of putting that expression on like a suit of armor. Thought as much. There's more. The person in question doesn't seem to experience any stress in their daily life. I'm with you there. ただ、ストレスは本人の自覚がないところでも蓄積されていくから、本人が気づいていないだけという場合も十分あり得るわ。人が頭を隠し草一つとっても。Exactly. So what happens when that builds up without the person in question even noticing it? I guess you could say I'm slightly concerned. So. If that non-committal response is a line of dem... Demacration? Dem Demarcation? 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 Demarcation. Yeah, demarcation. Action of fixing the boundary limits of something. Okay. <laughs> JB relaxes her face and lets the tension drain out of her body. この学園のことは簡単に調べさせてもらったけど、やっぱり友人の興味を引くような学生さんがいるみたいね。Yeah. When I get a nagging sense of concern like this, it's almost never just me overthinking things. I've got good instincts, if nothing else. That was the reason I confirmed my impressions with Chizuru as well. If I'm not wrong about this, then... But... 
少し安心したわ。What is? ユージからそういう質問が出てきたことに対してよ。I just tried to give you what you wanted to hear. だとしても、これまでのあなただったら、そんなものはない。で、即答していたはずよ。That was supposed to be an imitation of me. I'd recommend giving up on your dream of becoming a comedian after retirement. Go to Koko, Arigato! Demo, you see, could I not to see Gorano to Konoko that Tara? Oh, Sharia, on Nano Koni Kyomi got at the toes, eh? Sorry, Nanoni, Hanataga, what does she need to eat the Kurunoa? It's a more kayak psycho to Bakari Nandamono. Can't deny it. でしょだからきっとこれはいい傾向よじゃあ定期面談はこれで終わりしばらくしたらまた顔を出すわ。Like you showed up in Michiru's route? Cause I don't think you showed up once. Do me a favor and give me a little advance warning next time. It's bad for my heart to have a beautiful woman popping up out of nowhere. Ha ha ha. Doki doki kan atta hou ga ureshi de shou? Yeah, he's yeah. God, he's sarcastic as shit, but I mean. I wasn't comfortable enough with someone, he can get away with saying shit like that. <laughs> Smirking, JB slides her sunglasses back into place. With smooth, practiced movements of her hands, she steers the prancing horse away from the school. In the blink of an eye, it disappeared into the distance. Okay, so she's got a fucking Mustang. Do they not want to say she has a Mustang? <laughs> so they gotta go prancing horse? It's a fucking Mustang, we get it. That engine never gets any less obno obnoxious. Out of consideration for our neighbors, maybe I should stuff some potatoes into the muffler next time I have the chance. In any case, JB has a point. If I was still the same person who'd impassively devoted himself to the job, I wouldn't have developed this kind of interest in Sachi's personal life. Quite the opposite. I'd be keeping potential trouble at arm's length. Of course, in this case, my dorm mate's problems might have repercussions for me, but there's definitely a part of this that can't be explained by simple self interest. Apparently, this change in my thinking is dramatic enough to take even JB by surprise. In that sense. I guess the first problem is I can't even tell why I'm changing. Mashing students of different school years into a single classroom and giving them an identical course of instruction is typically referred to as a combined class system. I had some of that in elementary school. A few classes were like two grades just jammed together, usually because there was an overflow. There's just too many for the single grade class, or too few for it to actually have its own. Usually more of the former than the latter. So, we'd have a split. We'd more or less be, te they'd be taught the same things, but sometimes like, okay, this is for the l lower grade. And after I'm done with that, we'll continue on a little more with the uh, higher grade. I mean, they made it work. Did all take the same stuff? <sighs> Neck. Ugh. 
Sorry, just uh. Ooh. my head kind of hurts a little bit now. Oh well, I'll live. <laughs> yep. It's most frequently used in rural elementary schools, where low population and limited resources sometimes make it an unavoidable cost-saving measure. And if the teacher, I mean, if the principal has to be a teacher too... Uh, that also kind of says something that maybe they can't afford to have so many teachers on staff. Granted, there's this also a school of, you know, like six people. <laughs> so they really don't need that many teachers. Hi. I guess Mihama might be called an unusual variation on that system. Amane is a year ahead of me, Sachi and Makina a year below, but we're all currently being taught how to solve quadratic functions by factorization. I did not want to think about quadratic functions. I don't want to think about calculus. Brings back college memories. Not good ones. Oh god, math class. I, uh, uh, college math is just... Oh. Especially because I had to go through an electrical one, so... Oh. So many rules. Looking through code books. <laughs> Looking at schematics. Oh. I, I do enjoy the hell out of it, but fuck, I hate learning about it. I did keep all my textbooks, though. I 100% kept all my textbooks. <laughs> One, they cost a lot of money. I wasn't just about to give those away. And two, they're great reference material. I haven't had to reference them yet. But the option's there. Probably the most valuable thing in there is the code book for actually, like, just electrical in general. Like, you've ever to wire up a house that has all the codes in it. There might be an amendment here and there they'll have to look up every now and then, but it'll probably just be maybe one page I can just write into the margins. Like, actually, I think I... Yeah, I think I got an older code book. Or, I can't remember. Actually, no, I don't think I got an old... I think I, I, think I got a newer code book. But the thing gets up to... gets a, you know, revision like every four years or something. So mine is definitely out of date by now. Yeah, I think it was about, probably about to get, uh, or was getting close to coming to a revision by the time I graduated. And that was a while ago. Well, not, I mean, well, not a while. Six years. So it's definitely had at least one revision by now. But it's something I own. <laughs> I own a code book. An electrical code book. even in rural areas, they don't tend to squash three years into one. You'd usually have to go to South Korea to see anything like this. しっかり勉強しているわね。ありがとうございます。小峰さんなら 
国立大学の入試問題でも普通に答えてしましょうね。<笑> Taking in Sachi's effortless response out of the corner of her eye, Sakaki mumbles words of admiration. Forget to turn off your Sundere training machine after the morning soon exercises? Jesus Christ. もし本当にそんな機会あったら買ってるけど<笑>買うのかよ。Oh my god。Okay, so what did you realize? もしかしたらサチって先生に当てられて答えられなかったこともないんじゃないそう言われればそうなのよさ。As of two days ago, I probably would have reacted with skepticism at this point. But after what I've learned about Sachi lately, this seems all too plausible. Me too. Nande Anata got to go again. No, you go men, Nantonaku. That's can you send but you are getting a naked or coming a son of by what cares me. Siga hot on the day. Then any man ten it's guys. So see you. Yeah, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on her. Go to she need not this me. My son, they stop. なんで謝られているんでしょう私察してあげるのよ相手の遺伝子が自分より優れていると悟った時の本能的行動なのよさ Oh my god マキナ You always gotta do this don't you そうなんだでも私的にはちょっと残念かも What that Sachi's grades aren't always perfect? そう、ここまで来たらどこまでもっていうかこうサチにはずっと汚れのないままでいてほしかったのよねたとえおかしいしえっとなんだかよくわからないですけどごめんなさい You're confusing your Michiru please stop From a common sense perspective, it seems completely obvious. No matter how much of a genius you are or how much time you spend practicing, it's difficult for any human being to maintain absolute perfection. That said, in Sachi's case, I have this odd feeling that she's only missing questions because nobody's asked her to get perfect scores constantly yet. Am I just overestimating her? この学園に来てからということならそうなると思いますだったら余計にどこまで難しい問題なら答えられるかって気にならない Well, I can more or less identify with the sentiment The girl is a curious specimen to be sure じゃあ実際に試してみればいいんじゃね Aren't you guys in the middle of class right now? Shouldn't you be, you know, learning? So, you know, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. Okay. 
。ああ、そっか。ユージって仏頂面のくせに頭はいいしね。<笑> For the record, a sourpuss face has absolutely no relevance to academic results. So, eh, Yuji no tail carino, a choto saku da kedo. Ato a makaseta wa. Thanks for volunteering me, I guess. Sorry, what's that supposed to mean? Tsumari anta wa, Sachi no toke nasa so na monda yo das kakari ni ni me sareta no yo. I guess I don't mind giving her a test, but shouldn't you be asking for her consent before appointing anybody? Well, I did pretty much expect an answer along those lines, but still. Alright, I guess. Since a consensus seems to have emerged, I suppose I'll go along with it. No need to struggle against the current. Um, <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be saying this to your face, Sachi. But you're seriously a soft touch. There's such a thing as being too cooperative. So this Assigned a strange new responsibility by the whims of my caprious classmates, or capricious classmates. I'm holding an impromptu rooftop meeting with Sachi to dis discuss the specifics. Yes. You just committed yourself to an academic stress test with no real point beyond satisfying our classmates' curiosity, if you hadn't noticed. Although Sachi obediently accepts my words on a superficial level, she doesn't really seem to recognize the situation as inconvenient. Well, if it doesn't bother you, I won't say you were wrong to accept. What the hell does slattern... slatternly mean? Dirty and untidy, so she's calling herself a dirty slave? Oh, 
just want to confirm some things on my Where did you pick up that phrase? Convenience store no zashi ori ba de ichiban hashi ni narande ita hon no hyoshi ni kaite arimashita. Ah, I see. I vaguely suspected as much for a while now. But it seems you're a member in good standing of the masochist society. Come here, yeah, masochist community, Sachi. Why did I say society? I gotta fucking. Just <laughs> a member in good standing of the masochist community, huh? <laughs> Super sadist? Oh my god. When did I get promoted to super sadist exactly? It's <laughs> When Sachi gets like this, it really does feel like you're talking to an enigmatic maid with a deadpan sense of humor. But now that I think about it, that impression is probably misleading. The girl's defining characteristics are her earnest personality and impressive range of skills. She accepts nearly every request that comes her way. She's an excellent student, and from what I've seen, she's respectably athletic as well. <clears throat> In a way, she's less a maid and more the ideal personification of an honor student. But she takes it to such an extreme that it's hard to keep yourself from thinking she might be too good to be true. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. It's choking on my own spit there. Oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry, can I smack you after all? Okay, I think a firm press of the reset button is called for at this point. Well, let's get back on topic, Sachi. Hi, please. There's a couple things I want to ask you before planning out this little experiment. Do you take any specific measures to prepare for teachers asking you to solve a problem in class? Yes, yes. The Hmm. Certainly true, but studying until you can solve every single problem in the upcoming material usually requires an impractical amount of time and effort. Although she's clearly devoted as well, Sachi must naturally be something of a quick learner. Alright then. What would you do in a situation where you absolutely need someone else's cooperation to fulfill a request? Right. With a mission like that, don't you run into a dead end if they just refuse to listen? 
そういった場合は許される範囲内で別のやり方を考えますが頼まれた内容や状況によっても変わってくるので一概にこうというのは難しいかもしれません。<笑> See. Don't really tend to think of Sachi as a flexible thinker. It seems she does consider her challenges on a case by case basis. So, Yuri, Kazami san, Kyo a Watashi no hair ni asobi ni korare ru toyukoto de i n d e s y o n e Yeah, that was the plan, unless there's a problem on your end. Wakari mashita. Dewa, mata h o k a g o ni. Right. In any case, today I'm going to be directly observing Sachi's private life. That may well provide me with some insight into what makes this distinctly unusual human being tick. サーチサーチーあんた今日は何か予定あるのえっと風見さんに私のすべてをお見せしようと思っていますけど She's gonna take that wrong Will I be right? 3 2 1 All of a sudden, three of my classmates spring to their feet as one. What? Was there a tremor? Can't say I noticed. その男女の関係っていうかねえ、榊さん<笑>ままあ、不純異性交友だと言われても仕方ないわね。<笑>いや、いや。<笑>ああ。I see. The precise nature of your collective delusion is now clear to me. But to be perfectly clear, that's not what Sachi meant just now. Hi, what does she want to do? Kono Karada, Kazami san no stress no hakeguchi ni nareba to. That's even worse! Stress no hakeguchi! The chorus draws a few steps away from me and begins to dis discuss something in venomous whispers, shooting me scornful glances out of the corner of their eyes. Sorry, Sachi, but please keep your mouth shut until I'm done explaining. Listen up, alright? Just dropping by Sachi's room for a visit. That's the full extent of the plans she's talking about. Apparently, Sachi doesn't believe in giving herself free time. I was kind of dubious, so she volunteered to demonstrate directly what that means. First of all, I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> She really doesn't. Nanda, so you could look. Once I provide a brief explanation of the circumstances, my three interrogators cool down surprisingly easily. Amane's tone suggests she's all but lost interest. Not that I'm complaining, but you're strangely understanding. She has? 
考えることはみんな同じっていうか私たちもあんたと同じことが気になったわけ So what's going on behind that curtain? それは自分の目で確かめた方がいいわきっと口で説明されても納得できないと思うから In other words, their own version of this field trip must have left a decidedly ambiguous impression. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a conscious effort not to disrupt Sachi's private life any more than necessary. Sakaki heaves a small sigh. Makina, who's shown absolutely no interest in the conversation until this point, promptly slides over and yanks on her sleeve. <laughs> Alright then. Would meeting at the lobby in an hour or so work for you? Okay. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Considering how little you supposedly care, I find it slightly odd that you've been tailing me since I left the classroom. Jay clearly still has a thing. Yeah, she clearly is still kind of. She's. I mean, she still has the hots for us. But you're not the target of our affection this time, Michiru. We already finished your route. It's gonna be Sachi this time. And there she goes. Probably just wanted to say that last bit from the very beginning. The Sundare's lot is not a happy one. Alright, you ready? Hi, so they want to suck what I know here and go on. I smell me. What a very simple room she has. Yeah. The first thing that catches my eye is a large locker, similar to the one Sachi uses as a storehouse in the classroom. It's also the only thing that catches my eye. There's not much else in the way of distinctive personal touches in here. Minimalist, if you put it nicely. Plain, if you don't. Personally, I'm just grateful it isn't some frilly abomination full of stuffed animals and overpowering scented candles. You might think I'd actually asked. <laughs> that effect. 
Wow, I'm kind of offended by that. <laughs> Hey Jane, how's it going? <laughs> Overwhelmed by stuffed animals is my favorite. Well, Yuji's an asshole, so yeah, be offended by him. I mean, the dude's misogynistic as fuck. And yet he's somehow gonna get these five girls to love him on five separate routes. We already got it with one of them. <laughs> Come to think of it, I haven't even poked my head into Sachi's room before. Oh God, do not phrase it like that. <sighs> Christ. Try not to put it like that where other people can hear you. Michiru and company would misunderstand again. Understandably, in this case. So So, once you're back in your room, what's the first order of business normally? Alright, well, let me rephrase that. The first order of business after you change out of your uniform. At what? Also, couldn't you have gotten changed before I came over? Of Yuji? You've seen her in her underwear plenty of times already. And it's 100% been your fault. So deal with it. And why did you have to do that today, in particular? She's not even gonna answer the question. If you don't know the answer, I doubt anyone else will. After changing into her casual clothes, if the term can even apply to a maid uniform, in the back, Sachi begins to unpack a range of supply materials from her school bag. Alright, don't worry about me. Go right ahead like you always do. With that concise answer, Sachi promptly heads over to her desk. Just gonna be sitting in silence, I guess, watching her do her normal routine. After carefully spreading out her notes and a few textbooks, Sachi begins solving problems at a steady pace. In no time at all, she's absorbed in the task at hand. Even watching from behind, her concentration is almost startling. We're all just hanging around studying in maid uniforms. Th that's a Sachi only thing. Teacher said she acts like a maid, maybe should dress like one, and she took that literally. So her casual clothes now are just a maid uniform. Sachi's a very odd one. I'll tell you that much. You give her a request, she'll never say no. Claims do not have any stress whatsoever, and also says she tries not to give herself free time. Which is odd. She'll also take simple comments uh, quite literally. Or just random shit that you could say as a joke and she'll take it seriously. Like when our good old main character here said, 
You know, underwear isn't something you should hide. It's something you should be proud of and show off. She then showed up the next day to class wearing nothing but lingerie. Then we just kind of made a comment that she'd probably have a better chance of mopping up a bathroom with her maid uniform. She promptly took it off and started mopping the floor with her maid uniform. So again, that's the second time we got her down to her underwear. <laughs> then someone told her to should count to 10,000 in the bath to prove they're, I don't know, not a lazy youth? She proceeded to actually try to count to 10,000 in a steaming hot bath and fucking passed out. Example? Okay, Sachi, help me cover a murder. Yes. You tell- you ask her to do anything, she will do it. She has never refused anyone's request. She has traveled across the country, apparently, to get ingredients for some specific dish. Just because we say, I need this. She will go to the source to find it. <laughs> and she also likes to drop multiple sexual innuendos. Whether that she's conscious conscious of it or not, we don't know. Because her first thing when she first thing she said to everyone about what we're, gonna, we're doing right now was, "I'm gonna show him everything." They were shocked. It's like, "Oh no, no! I meant uh, I'm just going to show. I'm just going to be an outlet for st of stress for him." And yeah. Jade, the day started off, I loaded up the fucking game, and it was a spanking session. <laughs> That's what kind of game this is. <laughs> this fucking game. First of all, she goes over the problems we reviewed today a second time. When that's done, she moves methodically through everything we might possibly cover in the next class. Even as she jumps to new material and different subjects, her pen never stops its regular mechanical motion across her notebook paper. If nothing else, it's quite a display of academic prowess. You study this much every day? That's your reason? No, strange would be an overstatement. Although, personally speaking, it seems way too weak a motivation to inspire this kind of effort. Getting up from her seat without even pausing to stretch, Sachi immediately begins to pack away her books and study aids. Next up would be preparing dinner, then. Don't give me that utterly astounded face. You told me your schedule before, remember? Been a while since I heard that catchphrase. Anyway, while you're eating dinner, I guess I should... That really all right with you? Yes. No, I don't have any reason to refuse. I'll take you up on that. I watch idly as Sachi trots off toward the kitchen to prepare the meal. 
And just now, her smile seemed unusually happy. Was it just my imagination? What is this song? Cut your carrots, not your bunions, save your marriage, peel his onions? <laughs> what? So confused. Yeah, I'm at a loss for that song. Okay, first. What? Second? The f <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> About ten minutes after Sachi began her preparations, I hear the rhythmical sound of a kitchen knife striking a cutting board. Within a few moments, she accompanies this steady percussion with a bizarre song. Almost certainly another of Machina's compositions. Up to this point, I can't deny she's given herself exactly nothing in the way of legitimate free time. Frankly, her constant motion and eager devotion to her tasks aren't particularly different from what I normally see out of see out of her in school. Hmm. From the smell of things, it's curry, huh? Yeah. Curry was downright treasured at my old school. It's filling, nutritious, and tends to taste decent no matter who makes it. And apart from the practical appeal, it does fall into the category of food I personally prefer. Also, curry is something... It's just very good to have over long periods of time. Like, the Japanese Navy really used it back in the day. Because they're, I think they're starting to get sick of just rice, and then... A, I think it was a British officer that introduced it to them, and then it slowly got uh, introduced to the entire Navy. It just became that dish. that A preferred dish. I'll look that up real quick, though. Confirm so I'm not talking up my ass. Uh, yeah, officers, yes, yeah, so it's officers from the Royal Navy uh, from India, because it was a British colony then. They, they kind of brought it over to them, and then they tried it, and then really liked it. It got popular with the Japanese Navy and Army, and then spread to uh, everybody else. Uh, 
Oh, that's it. That's it. It, it got adopted to prevent uh, something called Berry Betty. Otherwise known as a, uh, I think, a, a thiamine deficiency? A, a vitamin B1 deficiency. Uh, result, uh, results in fast heart rate, shortness of breath, leg swelling. At least one version of it. Another version of it is numbness in the hands and feet, confusion, trouble moving legs and pain. So just having pure rice was causing that. It was causing them a vitamin deficiency. But by adding in the spice and stuff from curry, it helped fight that. And also tasted really good at the same time. actually apparently they eat more curry now than even uh, sushi and tempura that's how popular the damn dish is which I'm not surprised curry is good curry is very good I've ever, but have I ever declared myself a curry fanatic in front of Sachi? I'm not the sort of enthusiastic gourmand who makes a habit of advertising his tastes. Yeah, how does she know we like curry? She seems to kind of know us. She's going to be a childhood friend, isn't she? That we've forgotten about. I mean, they gotta have a childhood friend. That, that's my bet right now. She's a childhood friend that we don't even remember. No, it's nothing. Well, there's no need to think too hard about something that trivial. That's fine. I'm not what you'd call a picky eater anyway. As a rule, I eat whatever's put on my plate. Maybe, but she complains it's less satisfying when there's no challenge. Sachi keeps up a natural flow of conversation without ever losing focus on the work at hand. Considering how busy she keeps herself, I don't really have many opportunities to make small talk with Sachi. So this sort of idle conversation feels a bit novel. Come to think of it, when did you start cooking for yourself, Sachi? Out of necessity, in other words. Auntie, huh? First I've heard of her. But grilling Sachi about her family would probably fall on the tactless side of things. Not that long, then. Seems like you're quick on the uptake. そうですね。どちらかといえば水なしで薬を飲んだりするのは得意ですよ。Sure, <laughs> whatever. You're goddamn monster for doing that. Swallowing pills without water? Goddamn. 
Can't do it. I can't do it. In the time it takes for our conversation to run off the tracks into total incoherence, the Sachi style curry has reached completion. Curry itself is impressively attractive, and I've got no complaints about the smell either. The salad she's added as a sort of garnish appears fresh and appetizing as well, so as a whole, there's no reason to hesitate. Alright then, I'm gonna get right to it. After briefly bringing my hands together for politeness' sake, I scoop up a scoop spoonful of curry and bring it to my mouth. Hmm. I can summarize my summarize my impressions fairly concisely. It's homemade curry. Rather than the spicy variety you might be served at a restaurant, it's mild, soothing comfort food anyone could eat. For some reason, Sachi's intently watching me eat instead of staring in on her own share, or starting in on her own share. Don't worry, it doesn't seem to be poisoned. Go ahead and eat, Sachi. I would sure hope it's not poisoned if she's the one who made it. Once I point this out to her, Sachi starts to move her spoon as well. Without much in the way of conversation, we quietly carry spoonful after spoonful of curry to our mouths. Among other things, the acidity of the yogurt she added as flavoring tempers the aftertaste nicely, so there's no real need to pause. So it seems. Before I know it, the reasonably sized helping she'd served me has vanished altogether. As Sachi leans forward to take my plate, I reflexively reach out and drop a hand on top of her head. Okay, I mean, we did say we were gonna, you know, praise her more. When we deemed it, you know, appropriate and necessary. Nice work, Sachi. It's not often I actually want a second helping. As I lightly ruffle her hair, a visible jolt of surprise runs through Sachi's body. Yep, sorry. Sort of realize I haven't given you my thoughts or anything. Just a spur of the moment thing. In that case, mind if I keep this up a little longer? You did ask for more of my praise, after all. <laughs> I mean, it's a simple request. What, you think I got senile or something? Not like it's been long enough for me to forget. So this Sachi finally smiles. After a few more gentle strokes, I lower my hand from her head. Well, sure. Although I don't I know it's not much of a reward considering the effort you put into the meal. Sachi made us some really good curry! Compare that to Michiru's route, where she basically took a fucking baguette, hollowed it out, and then just like stuffed lettuce into it. It's like, there you go, salad sandwich. <laughs> so we basically got bread crust with lettuce. Michiru meant well, but a cook, she is not. <laughs> Sachi, on the other hand, 
she can cook. Deflecting my words in a light tone of voice, Sachi heads back off toward the kitchen to refill my plate. Guess you could say that's typical of Sachi, but there's such a thing as being too modest. <laughs> Bread crust with lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said it tasted all right, but it was still crap. <laughs> she literally hollowed out like a fucking baguette and it's just jammed lettuce in there. It's like, there you go. Call that a sandwich? <laughs> Okay. Once the tableware has all been cleaned away, Sachi announces the next stage of her plans, carefully balancing a rubber duck on top of her head. Yeah, guess that makes sense. Kazami-san,も一緒に入られますか? Thanks for the disturbingly casual invitation, but I didn't bring a towel or a change of clothes. She's got something for everything, so yeah, that makes sense. Come to think of it, you mentioned something about that the day I moved in. She's very forward. <laughs> very. Is it just me, or is there a much bigger obstacle still remaining here? Such as... I don't know, common sense? Sorry, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> Yeah, primary obstacle, common sense. I don't think we should be bathing together. We're still technically just friends, and then everyone will be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed, but... <laughs> still. So <laughs> this Normally, I wouldn't have a reason to refuse. But in this case, I feel like you need to carefully rethink when and why to make an offer like that. Well, at least she listens to reason. And although I'm far from confident she actually understands the underlying problem here. You don't mind leaving me in your room alone? I already know where you keep your underwear. Not exactly. You told me yourself a few weeks ago, remember? Also, why would we need to know that? Why did she feel the need to tell us that? Why did she feel the need to try to tell us that again? Is there, uh... Something you're trying to tell us there, Sachi? だとしたら、その時の私は、風見さんが部屋に来ることを予見していたんでしょうか? I think if she didn't mind inviting him to the bathroom, she always didn't mind him sitting in her bed. Yeah, true. True. Fascinating question. But I'm not really sure why you're asking me. Hold it. Just as Sachi moves to open her door, I reach out and intercept her hand. That's not it. There's someone on the other side of the door. 
That said, the only real question is which of the four stooges couldn't contain their curiosity? Alright, listen up. Count to three, and throw it open with me. Hi. Three, two, one. As expected, our sudden act prompts a distinctive feminine shriek. <gasps> Yumiko! Of all people! Glancing down, I find a dumbfounded Sakaki sprawled out on her backside a few feet away. And what are you doing out here? Your room's on the second floor, isn't it? Why is it exactly that my classmates are such uniformly, uniformly terrible liars? That's nice. By the way, Sachi's just heading off for the Grand Bath. Just in case you were curious. Please, I'm staying here, obviously. Apparently somewhat relieved by this news, Sakaki lightly brushes her disheveled bangs back into place. Sachi wouldn't say no. She would not say no. She doesn't say no to any request for some reason. I mean, she's the submissive's dream, but still. Convinced now? Surprising as it might seem to you, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Press X to doubt. So <laughs> not Seems Sakaki has decided to trust me for the time being, as she abruptly turns away and heads back up the stairs. She's the submissive tree! <laughs> Hey, Jay, hey! I'm tech. Am I, am I, am I, am I not wrong? <laughs> Why now you guys are present X? Jen kind of brought it up last stream. She's. She's just. She's a good submissive in that way. She'll just do what you want. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the dom. Some do like them to, you know, literally fight back. Technically, no, you are not wrong. Yeah, yeah. Just as a pure submissive, Sachi's great, but I mean, sometimes you want that little fight. <laughs> a little bit, tiny bit. All different people's tastes. And I'm just going to stop talking for now. For now. <laughs> that girl's got it tough in her own right. Can't be easy going through life with that contrary personnel a personality. Sakaki-san wa Michiru-sama ni nite tsundere ni chikai tokoro ga aru nda to omoimasu. She's just a huge service sub. That's exactly what Jen said last stream. <laughs> uh, all of my friends are into kink and know the culture so well. <laughs> to each their own, yeah, yep, yeah, to each their own. No kink shame in here.
Might have a point there, sadly. Thirty minutes on the dot after the incident outside her door, Sachi pokes her slightly flushed face back into the room. Got out of there without fainting today, I see. And again, I looked this up last stream. If you wanted to count to 10,000, it would take you over three hours. Like three and a half hours for you to count to 10,000 yourself. And guess what? Being inside a hot... You know, a hot body of water is not recommended for over three hours. Hell, it's not recommended to be in one for over an hour. It's not recommended to be in one for over 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I love hot baths and showers and hot tubs and the like, but... There are limits. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yawning. I haven't even gone to work yet. That's gonna make me tired to me. I see. Apparently, that brief conversation last night was in fact enough to reset Sachi's bathing behavior to something slightly more sane. Oh my god. Does the dresser look like it's been disturbed since you left the room? Yeah, don't worry, I didn't forget. Right after I finish, I will... Find where I put them and have it, uh, I'll probably just have it clipped right next to mine. That way I definitely won't lose it. <laughs> and forget it. But I will be bringing it, uh, tonight. Do not worry. You're welcome. So this She's disappointed we didn't rummage through her underwear. Sashi's into some real kinky shit. <laughs> I really don't think that warrants such a disappointed tone of voice. No worries, we're gotten to right now. <laughs> no worries, I got you covered, Jade. I got you covered. Fighting off a wave of exasperation, I turned my attention from the untouched dresser back to Sachi to find her staring at me with a distinctly nonplussed expression. Imagine being sad because the man in your room didn't invade your privacy. Oh no! He knows boundaries? Aww. I'll get back to you that on s oh my god oh my god <laughs> look at neck something on your mind at the very least, you don't resemble a pale old man wheezing after a marathon.
Yep. She just makes these comments, but is so innocent about it. <laughs> she really is a submissive dream. Yeah. Yeah. That you are. だとすれば年頃の男性がとても口には出せないような列状を抱いておかしくない状況だと思うのですが風見さんはそうならないのでしょうかなおかしくないおかしくないおかしくないおかしくないおかしくないおかしくないおかしくないおかしくないおかしく
Organizing her life around diligently following orders, she never allows herself to doubt them, let alone defy those who make use of her. And almost as an extension of that, her private activities are little more than the bare minimum routines of daily existence. The same as me, in other words. Grilling her about recreation is more than a little hypocritical on my part. You go running, dude! That's recreational. Looking at Sachi, I've been seeing myself. And the discomfort I felt was a reflection of my uncertainty about my own way of life. Huh? Taken off guard by her question, I respond in an unusually feeble tone of voice. Well, this is yet another surprise. Didn't think I was so transparent that a schoolgirl could see through me. Alright, I understand that much. But what made you think I was feeling relieved? Oh my god, Yuji smiling? That's a shock! <laughs> smiling? I don't remember grinning to myself during that little internal monologue. If anything, the look on my face should have been something like, surprise. But apparently, something about my face suggested a smile to her. I see. I was right about one thing. You really are an interesting one, Sachi. I'll let you decide how to interpret it. At the very least, it's better than boring, right? Sachi said relieving my anxiety would make her happy. I'm not sure I understand the exact meaning of those words, but looking back on it, this visit did inspire a mysterious sense of tranquility. Whatever the details, I don't think that could be a bad thing. Well, guess I've confirmed the mechanics of your free time policy. But before we wrap things up, let's make arrangements to clear up the other matter as well. Yeah. We're going to see how difficult a question it takes to stump you, remember? So, yeah. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, so we might as well take care of that fairly soon. What's your schedule like? Does that mean you won't be heading home for the break? I guess a slightly less intimate connection with home might not be too surprising when you're living with a less immediate relative. Okay, so how about starting right off the bat the day after tomorrow? That work for you? Alright. Will assemble in the classroom at 1 p.m. two days from now. Right。Well, I guess you could put it that way. Yeah, sure. 
That's settled. I won't keep you from your sleep any longer. Have a good rest. Huh? Thanks, anyway, but that's not going to be necessary. I still haven't overcome the constant unease I feel toward myself. Or my doubts about my lax new life in this place. But I have learned something new in the last few days. There's someone else like me here. For some reason, I feel like this objectively pointless little quiz game I've been entrusted with is going to yield interesting results. Not that I have any concrete reason to believe that, but it's not an unpleasant feeling. By the time I reach my room, I'm almost looking forward to it. You're fucking watching us the whole time! さすがに音まりってことはなかったみたいね。ん<笑> あ、おはようございます。風見さん。あ、セーブしますかあつ、ナイスCG。やっ、ストレートアップギビンヒアガッダムテスト。オールライト、アンドアイアムガナカールイットデアフォートデイ。アイワズウェイティングフォーダッ
Thanks everyone for watching, commenting, and lurking. I appreciate it very, very much. I hope you all have yourselves a uh, great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.